So the Westland petrels belong to quite a large family of birds called the petrels that are mainly burrow nesting birds and New Zealand actually has a greater diversity of burrow nesting petrels than any other part of the world. There's about 45 species of them that breed in New Zealand and many of them like the Westland petrel only breed in New Zealand so in this case the Westland petrels the only breeding site mm -hmm. are in these hills here behind Barrytown in the Paparoa National Park. Nearly all the smaller species of petrels have disappeared from the New Zealand mainland and so it's really only the Westland petrel here in Quinakaiki and the Hutton shield is nesting high up above the bush line in the seaward Kaikouras that have you know, managed to hang on in the presence of predators on the mainland. Okay, we're going to be using a burrow scope to find out which bird is in this burrow. So one of them will have correction fluid marked on its forehead. And it's actually the other bird we want this time, the bird without any marking. So we don't need to disturb this one, but we'll come back tomorrow or the next day and see if they've had a changeover of incubation shift. And if they have, then we'll catch the mate and retrieve the logger. So this is a logger bird, great. So we're going to have to pull that bird out. Yep. We have a logger. We have a logger. Oh. Then number 40184. This is a GPS logger that will be telling us very exactly where the bird has been. One of the reasons that we're tracking these birds is to figure out whether they're interacting with fishing fleets. So the GPS data that comes off these loggers will tell us where these birds go and when, and that can be matched up to activities of fishing boats around the South Island. This is the white bird, the bird with white on its head that had the logger, and we've now removed that logger and the bird can be returned to its burrow.